Agriculture anchors Malawi's economy. Accounting for a third of the country's GDP, it is the primary engine of growth for this developing nation, and for people like Grace. Grace is one of millions of women in Malawi who joins her family in growing fruits and vegetables, one of millions who painstakingly travels with this produce in open baskets to sell at a local market, and one of millions who watches her food go to waste in the sun. The lack of infrastructure across these scattered rural markets has inhibited Malawi from reaching its full economic potential. Expected post-harvest losses lead farmers to overproduce and generate 11 million metric tons of CO2 per year. Not only that, it leads to an unsustainable amount of food waste that steadily emits noxious methane gases, and in turn damages the economy and the planet. So while 5% of Malawi's carbon footprint is produced from growing starchy vegetables, this figure increases four times if this food is left to rot. But the greatest tragedy of this food waste lies in the fact that millions of people need these nutrients. Malawian children face chronic malnutrition and stunting rates of 37%. This offers a new global potential. An improved food storage system could restore Malawi to proper health. And it is in recognizing food as preventive medicine that we find our solution. Once we looked to the broader issue of human health, we found that healthcare costs push about 100 million people into poverty each year. Vaccines can prevent 24 million people in 41 countries from falling into this poverty trap, if they can reach people, and if they can stay cold. To accomplish this, impact-driven organizations like the Global Financing Facility have begun forming coalitions that take a comprehensive approach to health. We believe that by accessing the funding of the GFF and harnessing the power of food to convene people in rural Malawi, we can revolutionize the delivery of community health services. We call our solution Cool Thanzi, a celebration of the Chichewa word for health. At its core, Cool Thanzi is a recycled refrigerating shipping container powered by direct drive solar. So now when Grace brings her produce to market, she can keep her crops fresh long enough to sell all of her harvest. And when her children require health services such as vaccinations, Grace can relax knowing her children are protected by resources right in her local market. Each one of these facilities can store up to 23,000 kilograms of food and plenty of vaccines to serve not only Grace, but her entire community. Cool Thanzi leverages healthcare to cover the upfront cost, and for ongoing operations, each unit can put up to $150,000 per year back into the pockets of smallholder farmers just like Grace, of which only a small fraction would be needed to sustainably finance the facility. Cool Thanzi is a business built around impact, whether measured at a single facility or across tens of thousands of markets. Every single facility can save over 270 kilograms of food per day, which not only closes the caloric intake gap for over 800 people, but does so with more nutrient-rich foods than are provided without storage. On top of the nutritional impact, each facility will have the capacity to house vaccines for up to 10,000 residents, easily serving the entire local community. And in addressing the climate crisis, each facility will reduce GHG emissions from food waste by over 1,000 metric tons of carbon dioxide each year. This is the equivalent of offsetting 50 years of electrical power generation for a modern home in the US. At full scale, Cool Thanzi could offset GHG emissions from electrical generation for as many as 5 million homes a year on top of offering clean power to those who currently have none. We know the road to that level of impact is long, but we also know where to start. In the first year, we plan to gain financing from our partners for a stage rollout of 10 units across Malawi. This proof of concept will allow us to shore up the on-ground logistics with farmers and healthcare workers while providing immediate benefits to thousands of people. By year five, we hope to leverage our positive cash flows and partnerships to expand into surrounding countries. Ultimately, with an expected penetration of up to 30% of the sub-Saharan market, Cool Thanzi can reach 200 million people, empowering them through preventative healthcare and nutrition while strengthening their urban systems all centered around their first cold storage facility. Cool Thanzi shows how to solve a problem by making it bigger. It shows how challenges this brand need the perspective of farmers, technologists, urbanists, and doctors to create the partnerships that can bridge the poverty gap and feed the world.